welcome back to my channel so today I filmed a warm gray eye and I did a wing liner for you guys today I actually love the way that this makeup turned out so if you are interested on how to get this makeup look then just keep on watching okay so let's get started I'm gonna first start by priming my lids and I'm using the MAC soft ochre paint pot I'm just going to use this for my eyeshadow base. Now I'm going to be setting that with my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm going to go into the banana shade color which is Lyric. And for shadows, I'm going to be using a really old palette that I've had. It's called Love and Beauty. And to be honest, I got this at Forever 21 for like 10 bucks. And the colors have been really pigmented, so it's a go-to. I'm going to be picking up a peachy shade. And I'm going to start applying that as my transition shade. Using a blending brush, mine is by e.l.f. So I'm just going to start working this on the crease. I'm done applying my transition shade. I'm going to move to the color right underneath it. It's just a really light gray. So with a skinnier blending brush this one's also by elf i'm going to pick some of that and just start working that on the crease just using back and forth motions now using the same blending brush that i used first i'm going back into that same gray color and i'm just going to start blending everything together Okay, now that we're done blending out the crease, I'm going to be applying a lid color. And for the lid color, I'm going to be using this really soft, light peachy color. It's almost exactly like the one we applied on the crease, except it's just a bit lighter. So with a shadow brush, I'm going to go into that color. And I'm just going to start applying that on the lid. I'm done applying it I'm going to blend out the outer corner so then our eyes are going to look somewhat like this and what I'm going to do now I'm doing a winged liner it's been quite a while since I haven't done eyeliner so pray that it comes out sharp and slaying And once I'm done applying my eyeliner, I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. And then I'm going to be applying some falsies. And for falsies today, I'm going back to what I always use. I'm using the Ardell Wispies. Um, these are so good. Like they just give you that full eyelash effect, but it also keeps it kind of natural, if you know what I mean. Okay, so once we have our lashes on, I'm going to be going in with foundation and today I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and I am in the shade 125. With foundation I'm going to jump in with concealer and today I am using the glam of Flodge heavy-duty concealer by hard candy it's been a while since I used this little guy a little goes a long way it's been so long since I've 
long since I had used it, and look what it did to me. But it's okay, because we're not gonna look this crazy. I'm just setting the under eye areas, and while I let that sit, I'm going to set the rest of my face. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Pro Finish Press Powder, and this one is also in the shade 125. And this is an e.l.f. Kabuki brush. Wipe off all the excess powder. Okay, so now I'm going to be finishing the rest of the eyes. So going back to that same palette that I used, I'm going to be picking up the gray. And I'm going to start applying this on the lower lash line. Now I'm going to be going in with some eyeliner. I'm going to be applying this on the lower waterline and also on the upper waterline. That way we tight line everything. And now I'm going to be going back to my liquid liner and I'm just going to fix the inner corner line because it got kind of messed up when I did the concealer. So I kind of just have to fix it. to be picking up a black color from the same palette that I used. It's just a, a black eyeshadow, any black eyeshadow would work. I'm just going to start to use this on the lower lash line just to really smoke out the outer corners. And I'm going to be using an angled brush for that. To leave mine like this, you don't have to Leave it like that, you can go all the way in. But I just like to have that smoky outer liner instead of just having it like all under the lash line. Okay, so now once I'm done doing that, I'm going to be applying some mascara to my lower lashes. And now I'm going to start warming up the face and I'm going to be using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to be using Shadow Play, which is this color in the middle right here. I'm just going to start carving out my cheekbones. And now I'm going to go back in that same shade with a fluffy brush and just start blending that harsh line. I'm going to be doing a bit of highlighting and I'm going to be using the NYX Illuminator. And I'm just going to grab a fan brush and go right in there. I wanted to do something really neutral so I'm going to be using a liquid lipstick and the one I'll be using is from NYX and this one is their lingerie collection in the color push up and I'm going to be lining my lips using a NYX lip liner as well and this is the color nutmeg for this look I'm just going to be spraying the NYX matte finishing spray and I'm just gonna shake this
Okay guys, so this is what the final look looks like. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Everything used is going to be listed on the description box down below as usual. So yeah, I have nothing else to say to you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you on my next video. Bye.